just about time to get the party started. And off we go from Nashville. Takes this about five yards deep. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. First down, Watson. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Christian Fulton. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. They may have thrown the interception, obviously less than ideal, but I think they also sent a message that they're going to push the ball downfield in this one. Yeah, not afraid to take their shots right away, huh? What was that, like a 9-9-9 route? Nine meaning go? Just went ahead and went for it. Didn't work out so well because it certainly appeared the defense was prepared. But I'm with you. Okay, so it didn't work this time. Doesn't mean we won't try it again later. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 43. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. The tackle man. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Tannehill on the now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. Third and two, Tannehill uncorks one for Davis. This is caught inside the 15. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Henry. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. That's complete right around the eight. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. From the gun, here's Tannehill. Flushed out right. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Murray. And he'll be stopped shy of the 15 at the 14-yard line on the return. He got out of the pocket there, was wondering what he was going to do with it, but I think he was calling, his receiver was calling for the ball, wasn't he? He certainly was a problem. He called for it too late, and when he delivered, they were all over him in the secondary and came up with the interception. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And he stopped immediately there. The ball carrier. Daquan Jones in on the tackle there. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. 
So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. From the gun, here's Watson. And this would complete to Will Fuller. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. And Watson on first down. He finds Randall Cobb with a completion. And he goes out of bounds and looks like right at the 50. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. On second down now. It's Johnson, and he is going to get this close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the Titans 41. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. A shotgun snap for Watson. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Touchdown. Brandon Cooks. 41 yards. And the Texans have taken the early lead. And the Texans take a 7-0 lead. Makes the score Texans 7, Titans nothing. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And a fair catch signal for and take it successfully. The Titans take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to... And this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked off by Michael Thomas. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. They'll take over first and First quarter, and now he already has two interceptions. Yeah, he's got a guard against being tentative from this point forward, though. He's got to still make the right reads, make the proper throws. I've seen guys in this league throw four interceptions in a game and win. He's got to understand, put it behind you, keep pressing forward. But defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. Throwing again is Watson. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. First down out of the gun, Watson. They'll look underneath and dump it off to Duke Johnson. And a good gain here of nine. Get in short. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Desmond King picks it. And the return will stop him well inside their own 20 at the 15-yard line. Watson's pass. Keep intercepted. The Titans take over first and 10 at their own 15-yard line. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. Tannehill with a play fake to Henry. He'll throw instead. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by Justin Reed. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. Well, there definitely was some juice on that pass. And while tight ends don't always have the same reputation for hands as wide receivers do, in this case, that ball was expected to be caught. At 
After the interception, here's Watson sliding out of the pocket. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And incomplete on the deep ball. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after. And that'll bring up second down. Brings up second and ten. If you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. yard line. The Titans take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. He's going deep for Brown. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Titans! A.J. Brown, 75 yards. And the Titans get the quick strike touchdown. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive. Turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What? 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What's that? Well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. Usually, man, that thing's done. Well, now that they got the touchdown, it's, it's not 88 and out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. This game back with it. A touchdown now as the kickoff's away. Right after the touchdown to extend their lead, now maybe opening the door a little bit there by allowing starting field position at the 40. Starting field position for the Houston Texans here as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. Steps away to his left. And his throw is incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Back to the air, Watson on second down. And now Watson throws another interception. Picked off by Dane Crookshank, and he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. That ties the game at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This taken in about four yards deep, and it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Five-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And that 14-0 lead to begin the ballgame, well, that's gone now. Time to regroup. 
I think even up two touchdowns, they knew this one. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Deshaun Watson with his third touchdown pass of this first half. And the Texans have taken the lead. Kaimi Fairbairn lining up. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use than that. Man. One play, 75 yards in zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play, big time result. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. And he returns this to the 22. Adore Jackson on the return. The Titans take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Play action, Tannehill, and he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Out of the gun, Tannehill. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Whitney Merciless, showing no mercy, flies in for the sack. Here's Brett Kern now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-point drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Throwing again on second down. Watson, and he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 12 yards there and a first down. And the Texan operating from the gun. Watson, it's caught left side by Cooks. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Watson, he fakes to Johnson and now looks to throw. Eluding the ball. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Jayon Brown able to take him down. It's a loss of three. But following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Another try after the first down sack. Watson. And this is going to be intercepted. 
Picked up by the USC man, Adore Jackson. We haven't even escaped the first half, and he's already thrown four picks. And Brandon, back in the good old days, probably back before you were born, if your starter threw four in the first half, he might throw eight or more for the game because they weren't going to pull him out. But nowadays, the patience level isn't quite there. He's going to have to make some real adjustments or the backup may see some time. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little bit here and try and get something before the half runs out. From the 25 on second down, Tannehill being chased out left. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. Well, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? He'll have a first down past the 40. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. On first and 10, Tannehill. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Flush to his right. It's brought in by Adam Humphreys. That was signaling a timeout call. As it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. First and ten at the 41-yard line. Tannehill on first down. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Incomplete. It's now second and ten. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. to kick off for Houston. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Justin Reed. So an opening drive interception to begin this second half. And just think about the time you spent in the locker room going over what you expected to do in the second half. Not the way they saw it. Not the way they drew it up. You find out this is something that you can't just edit, right? There's no rewrite here. This is live. And now they've got to find a way out of this hole. 
Throw complete right side to Cooks. Complete. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Now we'll play fake, and it's Watson. Now he'll escape to his right. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. And a nice gain of 21 yards. From the red zone now, Watson. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And the Texans are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. 11 more on that one and another first down. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Super Bowl 49 hero Malcolm Butler. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Titans, the Titans offense set to begin the drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Again, it's Henry. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Brings up third and seven. Now a play fake, and it's Tannehill. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he'll go out of bounds just shy of the 20. First time they've looked his way in this game, he comes through picking up the first. At the 19-yard line. Tannehill. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. And I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. And he'll be out of bounds near the 30. In fact, right on the 30. 11 yards there, first down. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. Tannehill throwing again. Escaping the pressure right. Got a man that's complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Tannehill getting it out quickly to Brown. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Titans, first down. First and 10 at the 24-yard line. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now a first down throw, Tannehill, buying time to his left. He'll try and run it, and he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. 
And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm gonna and he will score. Touchdown, Titans. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Titans are going to retake the lead. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. Ooh, with a juke. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. On the return, the Texans take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. It's now second and six from the gun. Watson. Man open. That's Kiki QT complete. And he takes us up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Give him 14 on that one, and a first down from the gun, a run for Johnson. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. He was tackled at the 46-yard line. Operating from the gun, Watson. This is Cobb with a catch right side. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over it, and they got there to break that one up. Faking the give. Now Watson. Dancing to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Jayon Brown picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Watson off play action. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Kenny Vaccaro. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They'll try and choose some clock with Henry. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Brings up second and three. They'll run it again with Henry. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount. He got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Hey, hey. 
Now it's Tannehill. Forced out to his left. He gets it to Brown. Good play. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 17 yards on that play for the Titans. And 10 at the 31-yard line. comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. And they take a knee. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And you've got to say, CD, it was the defense who had a big part in the W. Oh, without question, when you force four turnovers, you get to enjoy the spoils of victory, don't you? It's rare that you force four turnovers and lose a ball game. That's almost unheard of. They carried this one home. He talked about celebrating with each other and being in a position where going forward, all you think about is, let's get five next time. They're going to be on the hunt. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Titans are winners here as we say so long from Nashville.